After a two-and-a-half-year battle with cancer, lifelong Alabama radio broadcaster Doug Layton has passed away. WVUA 23's Jack Royer joins us now live in the studio to remember a radio legend, Jack. Philip, he had a career that spanned over four decades. Today, friends and family of Doug Layton are saying goodbye to a friend and icon. It was a radio career that turned into a lifetime. He was as funny as he was talented. He was clear sailing to the end zone. After a two and a half year bout with cancer, Doug Layton passed away Wednesday night at the age of 81. Today, he was remembered by his friends and fellow broadcasters. He was a great guy, obviously. Uh, a funny guy. Anytime you cross paths with him, he came away smiling and laughing. And he was one of the funniest people I ever had the privilege of being around. And I learned a lot from him. I think of him, first of all, as a dear friend, as a very talented broadcaster, and then third, as a huge Alabama fan. He's loved for many different reasons by many different people. For 32 years, Layton was the color commentator for Alabama football radio broadcasts, spanning the career of six head coaches. 11 of those years, he called Alabama basketball games as well. He worked with John Forney and Paul Kennedy and later Eli Gold. He was on the microphone for some famous plays, his voice forever enshrined alongside memorable Crimson Tide moments. It's good. It's good. Van Tiffin has won the ball game. He thrived in Birmingham Morning Radio in the 80s before dominating it in the 90s with his close friend John Ed Willoughby, who passed away in March. If you were lucky enough to meet him, he probably left you with a story to tell. A family of Birmingham and Crimson Tide broadcasters loses a member as a radio icon signs off. No funeral arrangements have been announced yet. Doug Layton is survived by his wife of 53 years, Valida, his daughter Tyler, and son, Doug Layton Jr. He's remembered and missed by many more. Live tonight in the studio, I'm Jack Royer, WVUA 23 News.